Here's your agenda. Yeah. <laughs> this is blank. All right, Lisa, do you have anything? I know, I'm trying to think. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There's my stuff I need to say, but I can't think. So. There's a letter from the city of Maxville in regards to trash service. Oh, and here's, I want those minutes corrected. From the I to the we. Okay. So you've got, we have two here. One amendment. Those are last week's minutes. And this is the amended yeah. one. And um, we see, received a check from EMC, our safety dividend um, for August 2012 to August 2013. It was $15,908. How much did you say? $15,908. Wow. For being well? For, being, for having a good safety service. Well, that's good. Is that something we get every year? If. If. We, we don't. If. If. Yeah. If. if we so don't is that an improvement? Good. Yeah. I still need to be your voting day for Casey. Okay. So. That's all I have. Now, did I understand correctly that Nicely was going to do a proposal within the next month or two? Mm -hmm. With different options, I believe. So the city of I wish Maxfield we could get a clarification. And this I told is the FY. city of Maxville that you were, you had talked to Nicely, and she said they had talked to them too. Nicely had talked to them. So, so this letter is just FYI. Yes, I know it's funny we got that either the day over the day after okay. Nicely was here. So we'll just keep that in mind. <laughs> Alright, so this on the voting delegate would be whoever's going to be the delegate and whoever's going to be the first and second alternate. Mm -hmm. I'll move to be the voting delegate with the KAC. Second that. <laughs> Who's going to be the first alternate? Kurt. <laughs> Is that okay. a motion? Wait a minute, you got to you got One, two, on. three, just as we said. You got it. I make a motion. Wait a minute. No, we have to do the first one. Alright, that's the one that been moved and saying that I'm delegate for the KAC. I'm going to say aye. 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 Okay. Carried. Then we have to do the first and second motion. alternate. I make a motion that Kurt Ferry shall be the first alternate. Is there a second? <laughs> <laughs> I'll second it. It's been moved and saying all. Kurt will be the first alternate to the KAC. I'm going to say aye. 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 Motion carried. I didn't vote against it. <laughs> like to put in there one time. Second alternate. I'll make a motion that Shane be. Whoa! Another one? I can't believe First, second. Definitely. Delegate, first and there second. Okay. And Mr. Steinmates so will be hit the second alternate. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. <laughs> Alright, we got that taken care of. You can fill it in. Alright? Yeah, sure. <coughs> Steve, you ready? I'm ready. I guess the first thing on my list is uh, the employment decision. I, I, I didn't take off quite a week. I, I come back on Saturday night and you know, we didn't actually have a few calls. But um, it really hasn't changed in my mind. I, I, I enjoy working for Stafford County. I, if you guys want me to continue working for Stafford County, I'll do so. Okay. A couple things in relation to that. Is the thing that I just really love is, is uh, uh, CMS billing. This is, uh, this is kind of, Misty, this is uh, what we've done this last month, but, but also, uh, uh, and Misty can kind of explain it, it's a never-ending battle with Medicare. Uh, it's a nightmare whenever you submit anything in regards to numbers or, or and actually they screwed up our NBI number, uh, but that doesn't matter. It still goes all the way back through. So, so we're, we have, we've had like a 15-day delay. It's, it's all fixed, but that's how long it takes delay and to 
and to get some of our stuff processed. So Lisa wouldn't have been getting anything probably for the last two and a half or two weeks or so. Uh, Julie has has a firm grasp on this, and so you know it's my firm belief that um, that more and more of that should be transferred over to her. They can stick to it, you know. Um, and they're doing the research on our patients. But this is a pretty good month um, so far, $12,000. Mm -hmm. So we're, uh, the, the funds are coming in, uh, and, and our run volume is even uh, decreasing. Uh, that certainly has my eye on it. Uh, we ran, a, we ran uh, a call for Pratt the other night because we had good staffing. We ran uh, one yesterday for uh, Pawnee Valley to make sure they had insurance before we did it. We had adequate staffing. And, and that will usually bring in an ALS transfer to Hayes, maybe how much? I don't know. Thousand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or thereabouts. Um, August 22nd, you guys will see, is the last Medicare payment. So it's been like 14 days, possibly. Um, we called Medicare. They said our MPI. Like I said, we did the revalidation request. We had to send in corrections. Uh, the corrections were there. They just didn't you know, put them in. And so one of them deactivated our MPI number. We got a hold of them. They reactivated. They said that we have to wait. 30 or not till the end of the week to resubmit. I think there's 30 days worth of claims, and then they'll start paying them again. So everything is fixed. We just want to let you guys know that there was a little bit of a delay. Great. Okay. You can step aside there. Um, <laughs> there had been talk last week about an administrative assistant. With, with moving more of building responsibilities over to the hospital. I, I kind of thought about this issue, and, and, and I don't put a burden on the taxpayer of an additional person. Um, but there are even like fire, uh, fire administrative responsibilities. What I'd like to do uh, with your guys' blessing, I talked to the sheriff first, and I remember when I did as well, one of his employees. His, uh, his dispatcher in, in the graveyard shift, uh, certainly. That's idle time. Uh, she already helps us. Uh, one of them in particular already helps us significantly already in, in uh, uh, some uh, general command type things if we had a big incident. And um, if, if you guys would be willing to entertain uh, letting that person, I, I think we'd have to recognize it in some small way monetarily for the additional duties. But I, I don't think the person would have. I haven't spoken. But I wouldn't think that they'd have great reception to do on that. What, what would they be doing? They, they would be doing a lot of the administrative uh, duties as they pertain to uh, fire. So, you know, the the problem that we kind of run into in, in the past is that um, we looked at, at, at like salary increases and we kind of had to do it with titles. And that isn't always the, the right way to do it because um, you know, you got station chiefs that uh, they really don't need somebody to be over them that doesn't have near the experience that what they have. And uh, and they can manage just about most of their stuff by themselves. It's just some of the administrative matters. And uh, so, so they would handle the, uh, they could do the running trip for fire. They could, they're just sitting, it's online. They could do the run-in trip. Uh, and, and that same program does the payroll. So they could help us do the payroll, they could help us do the, uh, it's, it's not a lot of stuff, but at least administratively, um, in, in the post my area, my era, uh, there'd be uh, a way that uh, they wouldn't have to rely on uh, somebody from out there overseeing them. They would be able to, be able to oversee their own operation with administrative assistance. And, uh, and then they, you know, they, they can go directly to that person. For the time being, I, I would just go over and, and make sure the federal will gets up to, uh, to need it. See, <coughs> that person would <coughs> do any of the billing on the fire runs, or? No, um, or no. I, you know, I'd like to even look at that in general. You know, we, we implemented that kind of a, as a purpose of kind of control. I, I don't know that we need, need to continue that. There was a purpose at the time. If we run into a problem, if you know, th 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 just think about mm -hmm. that. I, I never implemented that as a as a means of, of monetary. 
it was it was just to try to because a lot of uh, counties what they'll do is that they put this giant fine. We're going to fine you ten thousand dollars. Well, they're never willing to do that, and so everybody just will laugh at that. You know, they ain't never going to do that. And so I wanted to implement at least something that we were willing to do if if we seen it necessary. But I but I think I think everybody's kind of realized that they need to be a little bit safer, and, and that was the whole intention. So is that policy still in place then? It's still in place this <laughs> time, but that's, you know, the, that was a different era when we implemented right, that. Yeah. So I, I, I think you guys think about it. If it's something that you think that we would prefer not to do, I'm, I'm willing to do that. Uh, and then if it becomes a problem again, we, we can look at re I think, I think it's something to think about, but I think, you know, I would like to see the policy, I guess. Okay. Just to see if, you know, if we can... I don't want to do away with it, like you said, if we have the conditions to such that we do have 30 fires in 30 days again. Right. You know, and, and then uh, then we're sitting here thinking, we need to do something. Well, I think the point in that was was to educate. And, uh, with, you know, because the thing, you know, the mandates come down, down from the state fire marshal, and, well, we don't, you know, we don't follow the rules. You know, we, we need to burn when we need to, and, you know, and then, well, we, we, we hadn't reissued, uh, what, what we did to start with is we had, we had them all come in to do a new burn program. And we, and we wrote on that very specifically what, uh, because, heck, there was like, uh, you know, people had uh, like three or four generations down signed it. <laughs> and so they didn't even know what, what they were operating under, really. Very frankly, they, 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 yeah, they didn't yeah. even really know. And, and now they, they realized that they, they had to be the person yeah. Uh, or, or the person stated on that form. And so they, they've actually read the form to understand what the um, what the expectations are. Right. Well, I'll bring a copy of the policy in next, next, week, uh, next yeah. meeting. Um, Bigfoot, the Bigfoot truck, uh, they fixed that cylinder wall that was that was stored, put it back together, uh, drove it away. Another Apparently, another sleeve is was stored. Um, I, I don't think we're looking at significant cost, but uh, they had a, a, about three other major projects come in, so it's kind of on the it's it's in line. And that truck's from here. That's that that's that first one that we got that looked so great because it hardly been used. And now now we know that that's not necessarily great. Hard to use. Yeah. Engine 21 next week uh, will go to Hayes uh, to have the water tank fixed. Uh, oh, this is, uh, I, I just wrote up a little blurb on that. That uh, is, I just got notification from the state that we, uh, we again uh, received the emergency management performance grant fund for $7,014. That, uh, that's the same amount that we received last year. Um, I, I think once I kind of get that down, just exactly what it is that fulfills the requirement without going crazy, um, it, it'll be okay to continue it on. Um, if, if they continue to ask for more and more and more, then uh, it might become more work than $7,000 worth. Right now, we'll continue it on. And in regards to that, they, uh, they told me to submit it uh, without your signature. Now they do need to say. Okay, so we we'll need a motion on that for my authorization. And that's for this fund. It's yeah to participate. I submitted the whole package. They just uh, I submitted it with, without. I thought I had already had. We might have to put back through our notes. I thought I already. I thought you guys had already okayed it, and I thought you already signed it, but they said that they didn't have it, and so I said, I'll get you know. Make a motion we allow Clayton's signature on this emergency management performance grant. Second. I was going to move and say that I'm authorized to sign for this application for emergency management grant. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Uh, the annual uh, emergency management state emergency management conference is uh, four days next week. Uh, uh, so if you guys all attend just two of those days, uh, they they're pretty select. They they set it up so you need them hours to get pre-certified. 
Uh, building maintenance, just an update on that. St. John, the station here, we finally got our windows in. Uh, we put a storm door, uh, on, a new storm door in front of that building. And uh, the 15 year old hot water heater went out and we had that replaced. And we got two bids for that uh, a bid from a uh, vendor in St. John and then one in Stafford. And the Stafford fellow was the, uh, the better bid. So he's already done that. The fire corridor agreement, it's passed all three councils, uh, but Max still, still needs to get the paperwork. And so just simply get the paperwork to bring that. Hazmat awareness training, uh, certified training. Uh, I, I talked to the state. Really all of our firefighters should have that. It's just the very basic knowledge of hazmat awareness. I can teach that, uh, and, and I'll do that at the crew meetings. Um, and and uh, Katie is supposed to give me that information. Sure. And then uh, just uh, we may put in the notes again on we, uh, the St. John Hospital Foundation uh, bought us a power cot and we are still waiting on that. They had a recall on the thing. So they recalled all of them and so they, they, didn't, they didn't put any more out. And this, I don't know how you stand business having two or three months delay on uh, uh, But it would slip at a certain spot. You had, not, you had it for a while now? No, but they never got it to us. We never <laughs> oh, recalled it. Uh, they recalled they recall all the ones that were out, and they didn't put any new ones out. So we're waiting on that. They told us the work on that, the end of August, and I guess it's not going to make it to the end of August. It's going to be September. So uh, just if we put it in the notes, I, I let Doris know so she could let the rest of the foundation people know that we didn't receive it and just not uh, not get pictures and, and, and give them thanks again. We're just I can still tell waiting. Too. But we're still waiting. I'll tell Kim we didn't get it. So I, I mean, uh, I, I, I hope that it'd be pretty soon. And, and we do, we're, we're only going to get one of those. And I know how that uh, makes the others feel. But those things are awful expensive. I'm talking awful expensive. Um, we, we wouldn't have bought one. I mean, frankly, we would not have bought one period if it wasn't meant for the hospital foundation. And the crews and the other stations just need to understand that. I try to keep everything the same in the stations so we don't have that uh, jealousy. But this is just one that, when the foundation will buy you something like that. And, and, and it'll, uh, it'll also carry a heavier patient. And our patients in America is getting heavier. Uh, and so if, if it was needed at one of the other there he is. We can bring it over. Yeah. So everybody can use it, but it but will be here because... Then, is that a piece of equipment that you can find, some, you know, fused, a basic fused one that we can... I mean, we, we, we want to be used every day at the other two We, we can look at that. Um, We, we could certainly look at that. I, I'm, I'm a little concerned uh, with the power feature. I don't know if there's... Uh, I, I'll talk to some people just to make sure that we don't have to... that there's nothing mechanically... I don't think there really is, though. I think it's just a hydraulic lift that's battery-operated. So that's, the, that's a good idea. Has those units been at that long, though, that they have to have to find one that's been refurbished? Well, like Wichita, I mean, they just go through so many patients that uh, they, they would have one. You'd have to go to a busy service, uh, but switch it off. If you had ever get a bit used one of those, why would you get rid of it? Well, yeah. I, but the price is significantly yeah. different. I mean, yeah. it really is. It's significant. That's what I mean. We're, we're yeah. going to put one over at Maxwell or Stafford. Yeah, or, I'll be a, you know, or even in a standby unit. You just don't want one to fail, though. Yeah. And I just sold it for a reason. It, you know, it, it, for, for big patients, it's, it's fantastic for... Uh, because it has, it even has some side features that, that attach to it. So you know, with, uh, it, it really gets concerning when you when you have a, a, a large patient because they're very narrow cots, mm -hmm. and if you get the lean or something, you end up either hurting the patient or both hurting the patient and one of the tags. So, um, but if you get enough help with the other ones, you, you, that's what you just need to make sure that you get enough help. And, and we're pretty good about getting. Uh, you know, our firefighters come out to help, and uh, hospital people help. And so we'll, we'll keep an eye out for, those, for the hospital the ones that, or, or I mean, uh, uh, probably a refurb.
Yeah. First, yeah, first of all, we've got to see. So, some people don't. Some texts don't like them. Well, because it caught them. Yeah. The hospital foundation. It'll lift it, but the caught them. The hospital foundation basically just said they'd pay for it and, and, let, and instructed you to go look for one. Is that the way that works? They just said they would they would purchase one. They they didn't they, they didn't tell us which one to get. I mean, yeah. they, they let us decide that. And this one, by all means, it, it, there's two of them out there, but this one is the lead one. But it had a point in there, from what I understand, it had a point in, if it wasn't all the way up, they had some ones that uh, slipped. And once they had that, then they had to say, stop, let's fix this problem. So I'm glad they did before we got ours. I, I, that wouldn't have been good if we got ours and then we got to recall weeks later. But it's like anything mechanical, it has the potential for failure. So, and that's all I have. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, you want to do that? Okay, she had a question.